guys. I'm looking at my notes, and I was looking to see what we're doing here today. And I said, before we go see Teelan, let's give the boy some time and go take out that unique monster we failed at in the last episode. <laughs> I set myself up to fail, and I still won anyway. That's pretty cool. That's... <laughs> I don't often say that I'm legitimately cool, but I think that that is one time where it is actually the case. Anyway, welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected. Last time, we squared off against the Fog King, not even able to land a scratch on its hide of antimatter? I was trying to like think of how to describe it really though, but it's not really a physical thing, is it? Now, we're gonna head over to Teelan's workshop and see what we can find. We wanted to head over to the uh, ruins and then head up north this way in order to find it. Wait a second, no. Uh, this is not the right way. What am I doing? Aha! It was north of the area that we were in before. So I had the location right, just not the direction. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah. No, 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 I don't have a revive. Oh god. Oh no, we do have a revive. We do have a revive. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Encourage you. Encourage you. Come on. Come on. Come on. We need to build up a little bit more party gauge. Ouch. You win this day, Alexandra. Hell, you shulk. I haven't mentioned it yet, but inflicting days makes it so that aggro is not accumulated. It's a great idea to just go to town and art spam whenever that's the case. I can Monado Purge you. Monado Purge! That'll get rid of that spike damage that was really adding up last time. It has pretty low break resistance, so I'm gonna try for that. And then you did not daze it. Uh, flick break on enemies in front, there we go. Do we not have purge again? This is the thing, is that Melia can technically purge with her Mind Blast, but it just isn't as available as Monado purges. We have Stream Edge to build up that talent gauge. Shulk's physical damage is really good. Oh, hey, we can do it, we can do it! Okay, 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 so it's down. I'm gonna go for the high damage. Oh, I missed. You might have seen a certain speedrunner of Xenoblade 2 saying that he doesn't time button presses in that game because it doesn't matter. Well, in this game, it very much does matter. Your timed button presses are instrumental to your success. It outright multiplies the damage dealt. Wow, that was fast. Lock quicker than I. Friend Shelter oh, and Wisdom Rod. Shulk is also great because with his positional arts, he builds up ta uh, he builds up the uh, party gauge for those uh, Pond Specter attacks way way quicker. So yet another way that it's a great reason to play as Shulk. Now I want to check that equipment. The Friend Shelter oh, is not nearly as good as the Madcap Stopper. I just realized that I hadn't put the uh, Topple Plus onto Nene. That would be great to have that uh, raises the duration of Topple, given that she's our main Toppler. I like that. Who's a good little Toppler radar? Aw, look at her, look at her go. Ah, she's great. Kino, I have not given you much of anything. I'll, I'll give you HP plus just so that you have something. That's always my logic, just so you have something, just so you have something. We got a Wisdom Rod, which has three slots on it. Definitely want to change into that. And we want Ether up on Melia wherever we can. I'll give Melia some HP up, and why not? We could do slow. That's looking a lot better. As we're on our way, I gotta say, 
I greatly, greatly appreciate it whenever any kind of new enhanced version of a game with a new side story or something lets you play that new side story out of the box. I'm amazed that this isn't more standard than it is. Um, a good example of what I'm talking about is Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. I wanted to buy that game because I was interested by the new side modes and by the new side story that you get after the main story. But then I learned that you can't just play the new side story if you've played the game before, you have to beat the game. And I 100 percent of that game years ago and I liked it, don't get me wrong. I just don't always have the most time and would kind of prefer to play newer things because, you know, I it's no secret that I do play these games through multiple times as forms of research so that I can make these videos interesting for you. And that results in me replaying a lot of my favorite games a lot as it is. So if I don't really need to replay something for that purpose, I generally try to avoid doing so so that I can rack up more new experiences. This game got it right, and I wish that more of them did this. You might say I can only win because I'm using Shulk and, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not bad or anything, right? Got Revival HP up. That does exactly what it sounds like. And another Revival HP up. That does exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, Kane, 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 I almost call him Kane. Eh? <laughs> I've been putting their names together. I think I called them Nino at one point too in an earlier video. Ah, uh, it's beautiful here. It's so beautiful here. Wait a second. There's, yes, there's a Pond Spectre. I want to talk to you. I don't know why I'm talking like a frog. Meh? Qualified, certified, making world more purtified. Pond Spectre Fafora is name. Surveying New Lands is game. Oh, why you surprise Fafora like that? Make Fafora uh, recite whole Pond Spectre spiel and now survey in big shambles. How friends going to make up for, eh? Hope not thinking can just make teensy apology and just walk away. Fafora going to have to ask help with small matter. Then we'll let friends off proverbial fishhook. Could you go into more detail? So friends will listen, oh goody. For four new friends were citizens of upstanding moral character. Small matter is nuisance Cromar on other side of Zen's thoroughfare, right hand side. They keep getting in way of Fofora. Fofora is still busy mapping out area, so it would be giant help if friends could remove Cromar from picture, please. Favour for Fafora! Defeat three Chromars in the vicinity of Zen's Thoroughfare. That's what we were just fighting before, actually. I think before we head out, we're gonna swap Kino into the lead. We can have uh, Melia in slot number three. We gotta play as him eventually, whether we want to or not. Gotta do everything. Now, you might be kind of seeing the Fog King and seeing that this thing is really more of an entity than an actual bad guy, and... Yeah, I'm not gonna disagree with that. I see. Huh? Hey, hey, could I get a look at that idea tag you got there? Yeah, I knew I recognized it. It's my little brother's, there's no mistaking it. Would you mind giving it to me? Keep it, now hand it over. Thanks, you don't know how happy this makes me. But if this fell out of the Somnivore Lexos, that means at long last my brother found his nemesis and lost. You know, when we were ex evacuating the capital, it was him that drew the monsters off to buy enough time for us to escape. If it wasn't for him, we'd never have made it as far as Grandel. He was our savior. He really was. Afterwards, he must have learned somehow that the Somnivore Lexos could be found at Sultnar Seal Island. I'm certain that he went there to remove the beast and secure the path for anyone coming to Alchemoth after us. Hey, by the way, my brother also had this bangle that was a family heirloom. You haven't found that too, have you? You haven't, huh? That's a shame. Last I saw him, he was heading to Baro Plaza towards Cinnabar Plateau. I've already searched between Cinnabar Plateau and here and found nothing. If you were willing to help, could you look for the bangle on the plateau beyond? I'd be most thankful if he brought it to me. Brother's Keepsake. Normally there would be a first objective in this quest where we'd go fight the Lexos, but we already fought that when we were on Sultnar Seal Island right outside of Alchemoth. And get some equipment for this. It's a decorated bangle. I hope you'll have more luck finding it than I did. That sounds like job for Hero Pond Kino. I look forward to seeing our Hero Pond work up a sweat. Aw. So I'm not gonna tell you that the Fog King is this super deep, super interesting, thought-provoking villain or anything like that. They had to kind of make this a smaller conflict. 
If they try to escalating it further and making it more epic with a bigger and badder Zanza popping up out of nowhere only a year later, it would just get ridiculous and it would cheapen all the sacrifice in the original story. I don't have a problem with this direction. I think they needed to go with it, making it a smaller, more mysterious conflict. Kino has a ranged break art. That's pretty cool. Crackle Bullet is a two hit combo that always criticals against flying monsters and it's an ether based attack, so it cannot be dodged. Toasty Hot Bullet is awesome. This raises tension of one party member of your choosing. It's something that no other character can do. Security Pure Round clears debuffs and grants debuff immunity to the entire party. Kino's got his strengths. These are things that no other character can do. Uh, I just realized that I'm the healer and thus I need a heal. Now, my talent gauge is filled up. That's kind of bad. Now I have to cool off. I don't get a choice. I'm sitting here overheated and I'm unable to use arts for a while. Overheating means that you will need to clear up, clean off much longer than if you did it at, say, 95%. It's, uh, Melia is dead. Melia, Melia, get off of her corpse. Uh, now Nene is dead. I'm not a very good heal. <laughs> Wait, they're level 67, what the hell? I just now noticed that. I saw they were yellow, I didn't think they were. Fine, let's get Shulk. <laughs> Before going into a fight, use this high tension. Yeah, Shulk's already got his cool portrait now, so we're doing good. We're gonna shield bullet onto Nene, and we might as well make ourselves immune to debuffs while they're all just beating on us. We'll break you. No, we don't. We do not break you. <laughs> It'll blast is what it's called. So Kino being a clone of Charlotte. That means the worst character in this game is Melia. I'm not kidding. Kino is considerably more useful than Sharla, despite the fact that they've removed skills, and that was the thing that made Sharla good. Let me explain. So, Sharla was not the best because there were so many other sources of healing. You could avoid attacks altogether thanks to Dunban and Fiora. That's not the case with Kino here. Sharla was bad because of the stuff around her. Without those things in the way... Conspectors, heed my call. Without those things in the way of his success, he becomes significantly more helpful as the only character that can restore our health. The only character that can, you know, do all sorts of things. There's less gems in Future Connected than there is in base game, so you gotta also consider that. All of this adds up to make Kino a much more instrumental character. Nene is instrumental because she's our only tank, and then that makes it so that Shulk and Melia are in direct competition for that third slot in most parties, and Shulk is just so good because, again, the stuff around him means that he's the only character that can do so many things. So Melia, ironically in her own story, ends up useless. How fitting this would happen to her. Okay, not useless, just outclassed. <laughs> Meh, Chromar are toast? Big hooray! Now Fafora free to continue with surveying unhindered. What? Thought Fafora was busy in middle of surveying? My friends get that idea. Such silly dumbs. No, Fafora just go out to pond spec now. But friends did very speedy job, and Fafora give credit where credit due. We'll prepare handsome reward later, so come by and Fafora will deliver personal. Fafora thinking of venture further afield, beyond even Den of Cromar, that friends fend off. Say hello when friends next feel inclined, okay? Ta-ta for now! We have not completed this. She is now at the far end of Zen's thoroughfare. By checking the map, yeah, we gotta go around. Before we do, I'd like to help out Big Brother Lavian. Heading up this way so that we can find that lost keepsake. Starry skies beneath the aurora. I like Kino's weapon glowing in the night. It makes it a lot easier for monsters to discover us and all. Oh god, the monsters appear strong. Oh, that's a sound type. It's an Aluka. I'm gonna try to walk as quietly on these tiny toes. Oh god. Getting in here. I don't know what I'm so nervous about. I'm just tilting the camera to move. I don't need to do Oh, there's an ether crystal over there. It's something shiny. I gotta go for it. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Uh, 
there's an Orluga over there. Oh, it's level 69. I don't want to get 69 by that. Oh, I gotta go around. Oh. <laughs> Give a Hums a heart attack, why don't you? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I saw it move. People say this isn't a horror game. Fire either deposit give us chill defense. And chill defense. Wow, that was worth it. I don't really see anything else. I'm gonna just go back. Oh, so you found the bangle. Yes, that's it. That's exactly it. It's all misshapen though. The bangle was decorated so gaudily to distract enemies. My brother must have thrown it at something as he fought. Thank you for retrieving it for me. I'll be the one to wear it proudly from now on. I can only hope it'll remind me to be a protector of the people, just like my brother before me. Here is a token of my appreciation. Please take it. And thanks again. Sapling hair tie and sapling vest. Pretty sure those can go on key now. Yes, gives us ether up and another ether up. Well, it's a good thing I died in this video, otherwise this experience wouldn't truly be complete. I don't think I died in the last one. I think that was the first time that I went a whole episode without dying. <laughs> what a great honor. <laughs> it shows that I play these games a lot and I'm very good at them. The Let's Play curse has been strong with this one. I don't know if it's just because uh, it's been a while since I last played this or something. I did research for this about a full year ago now. So that might be the reason why. I don't really know, but the Let's Play curse has certainly been strong with this one. Going over here. Hi, I didn't see that. Sloth Gogol, representing the seven deadly sins, are we? I want this, but I can't get this. Oh, oh, I almost fell off the cliff and died. You don't want to fall off the cliff and die here. Much more so than any other place you could fall off the cliff and die. Because if you do, it's a while to walk back. There isn't really a skip travel point around here. You get a Pororo's favorite and then there's an ether deposit over this way. I think? Is it? No. Huh. Maybe there's a cave below us or something. I thought for sure there was. Oh boy. What, what saw me? Oh, it's just a Chromar. Okay, that's fine. Having Kino in the party is also nice because it means that you'll daze the enemy for longer. Shulk has all three parts of the combo. Nene's got two of them. Kino's got two of them. This party is excellent at topple locking the enemy, and if the enemy doesn't have a high, uh, a high break resistance, this can be superior to Melia. But you would bring in Melia if the enemy did have break immunity or something of that nature. Fafora was able to pawn spec whole area without hitch. Again, work of friends was much appreciate. That was it. Agility down. That gives us the debuff agility down on our auto attack. Incidentally, Fafora might have other tiny incy, incy request. It involved escorting Fafora personally to Chief One One. Chief One One is chief of Hope on Spectre Squad. Should Shoulder of Bionis be is right? Said Shoulder of Bionis is ripe for treasure pickings. If stick around long enough, Fafora could be rich beyond wildest dream. Ooh, Fafora can almost smell the fame. It is. It not excite friends too? Believe Fafora, it become, it all become clear once friends hear straight from mouth of Chief. Okay, Fafora will keep friends company until able to meet Chief. Please to treat Fafora in matter which Fafora accustomed. Yellow team, Fafora. As for all the positives I said about Kino and all the negatives that I have said about Melia, let's even the score a little bit because I am biased as hell for my waifu. I don't know why they gave Kino slash, and by extension, Sharla, a detrimental talent art with that whole heat system. I think Sharla would still be a pretty distant seventh place even without it, and she really could have used some kind of talent art to make her more useful. I wish that they gave her something like maybe lowers art recharge for the rest of the party to make up for having lower damage while she's there or something of that nature. They also made a gem called Heat Sink for Charlotte and Kino that lowers the downside, making it so that you get less heat generated from each art. So they basically created a problem only to make a fix for it. It's, I don't know, I, the whole thing's just bizarre. But after much ado, we've made it to Teelan's workshop. Let's do.
How many times have I told you, you do not go there alone? But I really needed that material. Doesn't matter. Why did you disobey me? If something happened to you, we would lose everything. <sighs> Tyrea? Melia? Huh? Wait a second. You know Melia, big sis. Tyrea's your big sis. Right. That explains how you came to the capital just in time to save Teelan's skin. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Sorry for the trouble. Truly. Although I am glad you were there. Yeah, you really helped me out, Shulk, Miss Melia. And you too, Kino, Nene. Tyrea. I didn't expect to see you here, helping Teelan with his research. Yes, well... Tyrea, she's changed. Teelan, I'm going outside for a bit to get some air. Got it. I didn't know you all knew Big Sis Tyrea. How'd you meet each other? Well, that's because Tyrea and I share an older brother. Huh? Does that mean you and her are sisters then? Sisters? No. It's rather more complicated. But sisters we are not. Hmm. Well, still, that means you know her from way back. What was she like? Hmm? I've only known her here, in this place, so I gotta wonder how she was before. She... she was... She was strong. Both in body, and in her conviction for doing what she thought was right. Pretty much the same as how she is now, then. When it comes to our research, she's even more committed than I am. So she has not forgotten her mother. Where did you and Tyrea meet? It was when... when she saved me from the Fog King. On a trip to Alchemoth, like today. What? No, no, no. At the time, everyone was still living there. Before the Fog King showed up? Yeah, and then... After we all escaped, I was kind of on my own, so Tyrea brought me here for safety. One moment. Teelan, was your father not still around? My father... My father was killed by the Fog King. Is that so? I'm sorry. Teelan just like Kino. Brave little pun. I think I'll get some air too. Go ahead. I've still got things to ask Teelan, so I'll stay with him. Good, thank you. It shan't be long. Miss Melly, Kino go too! Kino, please read room. Tyrea. Of all the people to meet out here. How did you... Pure chance. After everything, I... I wandered aimlessly looking for somewhere to die. Then, at some point, I landed here. So then, you were here all along? That's right. And so, when the capital fell here, I thought Mother had finally granted me my boon. But it was full of Telethia and survivors cast adrift. Not to mention this Fog King. Yes. He'd be the one to end it. 
or so I thought, until fate had me save Teelan and death ceased to be an option. Your mother, she did not grant you a dying place. She gave you our future by crossing your path with Teelan's. My helping with Teelan's research is a simple matter of give and take. If you really believed that, you would not have treated him half so warmly. I can tell that when you look at Teelan, you see family. Even if it was once transactional, his research concerns the future of our race. That fact remains. The future of the High End here, huh? And what about you? Me? You must have heard. Our brethren in this land are suffering. Yes. You are the Imperial successor. The Crown Princess, war or no war. No. Empress now. What will you do about the future of our race? I have not planned that far ahead. However, I know enough to realize what I must do right now. I hope to see it. This future you will build for us. And when I do, I hope I'll be able to accept what I now am. Empress Melia, so you are ready to lead us after all. It shall be my privilege to clear the stones from your path. <laughs>